Hi, I'm John Storms, and today I'm talking about twinkles. Actually, I'm talking about <coughs> removing twinkles from a Lightorama sequence file uh, using a little Perl script that I wrote. Um, why would you want to do this? Well, there's lots of reasons. Uh, I'm trying to make my sequence files a little bit more generic and easier to convert over to Xlites. <coughs> and Xlites does take care of the twinkle for you. Um, there's just a couple of uh, cases where it'd be useful for me to uh, take care of it myself. Now, when I talk about twinkle, here's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this, all right, where you select the twinkle function on the menu bar and uh, Hang on, I'm going to get rid of some of these because those are just bogus stuff. <clears throat> so you, you select Twinkle from, from the menu bar and it pastes in that effect, right? And so what happens is, is that this really isn't a, uh, isn't really sequencing information. What this is, is this is a signal that gets sent to the controller saying, hey, do Twinkle. And then it has built into the controller in its firmware a algorithm for Twinkle, and it randomly turns on and off its uh, its channels. What I want to do is I actually want to replace this Twinkle information here with actual sequence data, right? So actually, you know, controlling turning on and off the lights. All right. So here I'm gonna. I've already saved it. Now if I go here to my old visualizer. Okay, and I hit play, this is what Twinkle looks like. You know, it's just randomly turning things on and off. And I want to keep this about the same. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I want to actually have it as sequenced information. Okay, so I've saved this as test LES. Now the next thing I need to do is run my script. Now to run, the script is Perl, so if you want to go grab Perl, uh, for Windows a really good version is Active State Perl. You do a Google search on Active State Perl and click on it and then you can go and download it install it to your comp computer and basically you want to associate the .pl extension with Perl and I think it does that automatically in the install okay next thing you want to do is we open up an install window and I'm gonna to go to my sequences directory so I have my Lightorama sequences stored under LORAW and then I go to sequences and then here I have my uh, my script. And I call it no twinkle.pl. Now if I just run with no parameters it will tell me what I need um, and basically it takes two files. It takes an in file which is your source file. This is the one you want to convert and then an out file which will that's the name of the file that it will write the converted um, uh, the converted sequence file to. So you don't overwrite your stuff that way it's safe. You don't accidentally break anything. So I'm going to say no twinkle pl and then the file that I just created is test.les. Now if it was a musical sequence it would be .lms. Then you say what file you want it to go to. I'm just going to simply say go to out.les. It runs. It's very fast. Now if you have a ton of like RGB channels it will take a long time. So I go up here, I select out.les and see that what it's done is it's gone through and it's replaced the twinkles with actual sequenced information. Now if I open up my little animator again and run it, it should look about the same. See? <clears throat> it's not exactly the same, but representative wise it's the same. And so for me this was a, was a handy thing to write. So you know, if it's handy for somebody else, that's great. Now, in this case, you know, in this example, I did the whole thing as Twinkle, but if it was just portions of it, it would uh, it would handle that just fine too. So it just converts the Twinkle for the time range that the Twinkle is in. Um, you know, if you had other sequencing and chases and all that, it just leaves all of that alone and it just inserts this. Uh, so I hope that's helpful to you. I'll have the um, the link to the um, to the script on Google Drive and uh, hope it works for you.